We begin with a major medical study that could be a game changer in the global fight against HIV. It finds that drug treatment alone may be the best defense to stop the spread of the virus. The findings are published in the medical journal The Lancet, and it could have huge implications around the world. Rene Filipponi joins us now from London. Rene, tell us what is in this landmark study. Well, John, this is the strongest evidence at, at this point that shows drug treatment, specifically antiretrovirals, can stop the transmission of HIV. Now, the study took place over eight years, included uh, nearly 1,000 gay male couples where one partner had HIV. Now, the person with the virus was on these suppressive antiretrovirals, and despite having unprotected sex with their partner, there were no cases where HIV was passed between the pair. Now, there have been studies on this before looking at heterosexual couples, but researchers say this one settles any doubts. Now, antiretrovirals are basically a combination of drugs that are taken every day to stop HIV from replicating in the body. And over time, it reduces the amount of the virus in the blood to levels that are undetectable. It is not, however, a cure. Now, researchers involved in this study say that the drug treatment prevention, the drug treatment prevented nearly 500 HIV transmissions during the eight years of the study. Have a listen to what the lead researcher had to say about the findings and the risks. So the very worst case scenario is that you would have to have condomless sex for 437 years before you would have the outside possibility of a transmission. So, it, yeah, it's conclusive. Okay, a landmark study, so let's talk about the implications. Well, this will have major implications on the global effort to stop the spread of HIV and that spreading the virus is, is more manageable than ever thought before. Now, the push is that all people have access to testing and treatment. And some researchers are also looking at this and suggesting that uninfected people can also take steps to protect themselves if they take a particular antiretroviral preventatively. Now, access to these drugs, uh, also called pre-exposure pre prophylaxis or PrEP, are expensive in Canada and availability is uneven. So in some places, people even have to pay out of pocket to get them. So HIV advocates are going to use this study and use it to help push change and, and help end the stigma against people with the virus. And it's important to note here, John, HIV is still a serious health concern. In fact, every year, Canada still sees as many as 3,000 people infected with the virus. Renee, thanks for this. The CBC's Renee Filipponi in our London Bureau.